this is, uh, I know, a little sensitive, but I want to ask you about uh, your reaction to um, the D Donald Trump having the widow of uh, uh, Captain Ryan uh, Owens there in the, uh, in, uh, in, the, in the gallery last night. Uh, clearly, she suffered a horrendous loss. Uh, we all did in a, in a brave Navy SEAL. But um, Donald Trump, listening to him last night, he was talking about this raid in Yemen as uh, maybe the most successful um, American military effort since, I don't know, Iwo Jima or uh, Gettysburg. I don't know, whatever. Mm. Uh, it doesn't appear to be that. No, it doesn't. It is it is a sensitive issue for the reasons that you, you stated. And I think there's a, a, a very understandable impulse to say to people who have lost loved ones that, that those people did, not die, did not die in vain. Now, the problem in this instance is that some of the reporting that we're seeing in recent days particularly is quite persuasive on the issue that, in fact, for example that raid did not uh, produce especially important or actionable intelligence. I believe it was NBC News who had a fairly mm -hmm. extensive yeah, yeah. report on that exact point. So while on the one hand, I mean, obviously everyone feels uh, enormous sympathy for anyone who is bereaved in those kind of circumstances. Um, on the other, I don't think that puts an end to the um, political dispute around the merits of that raid, how it was conducted, and how successful or not successful it actually it's was. It's been reported, um, quoting Pentagon sources, that was poorly planned, that was botched in its execution, it was supposed to be a surprise, and yet they, they found people knew they were mm -hmm. coming, that it was in fact not a mission to gain intelligence, but a mission to kill certain operatives who ended up not being there. The 25 people were killed. We lost a helicopter. We lost a Navy SEAL. It was an operation that President Obama, for whatever reason, said, mm, this doesn't look like it's good enough to go through. So he put it aside. Donald Trump picks it up. Uh, it's been suggested that he was he wanted to make a point, prove a point. And, um, and then even, you notice last night he also said, Secretary Mattis told me that they got this valuable intelligence where the Pentagon told NBC and CNN that all they got was one video of a car bombing that was 10 years old and it was already up and available online. Yeah, and I, I And there are three, if I just, mm -hmm. just there are three investigations mm -hmm. underway now into three different aspects of this raid. Mm -hmm. So it may turn out to be a hugely successful one, but there's certainly not Right, we cannot say that right now. No, we we can't. I mean, all of those factors are very uh, problematic. Now, there are obviously additional uh, investigations that have to be done, or in additional probes that have to be done. Um, at that briefing, I think it was discussed that I think there are two or three reviews within the Department yeah, of yeah. Defense that are right. that are ongoing about it. But certainly, you know, it, it's always interesting to me how rather different standards seem to apply to military raids conducted by Republican presidents rather than Democratic <laughs> ones. And I guess it goes to the fact that the Republican Party has this image of being more assertive and more willing to use the military. But, um, you know, certainly I think had that raid been uh, during President Obama's tenure and had the results been exactly the same, oh, man. I think we would... Uh, it would have been Benghazi too. Right, there would have been a lot of outrage about it, I think. You know. mm -hmm.